Dear pal, welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Tip. And in this wonderful tutorial, we're going to show you a very interesting, fun lesson activity called Learning Journey. All right, a template that is based on Google Jamboard that you can use together with Google Classroom that will maximize students' engagement through your lessons by allowing them to know your topic from the beginning and activate their prior knowledge or original understanding of the topic at the same time from the start arousing their interest and even asking them for what they wish to learn in your lesson about the topic and continually interest them by letting them um, indicate whether they have answered the, their questions through your lessons and eventually at the end of the lesson checking for their learning letting them compare their learning to their question and their prior knowledge Stay tuned to the end of the video, we'll be giving you a link or URL address where you can download your own copy of this learning journey template into your own Google Drive. We'll now show you step by step how do you download this copy with this link right? and also how do you use it right? in your classroom for the students to type in the different aspect of this learning. So without further ado, we'll quickly dive right in to find out how do we use this template to achieve the three aims of prior knowledge, arousing interest, and checking the learning of your student. To be first to be notified of future useful ad tech video, please remember to click subscribe at the bottom and also click the notification bell and give us a like and uh, maybe some comments of how you can use it. Right? Then we'll dive right in. At the end of the video, when you see the uh, URL address to the template, okay, just copy that address and then paste it or just type it into a Google Chrome page on the address panel. All right, and then you just have to click enter. Uh, then you'll be brought to this page where you can see this copy document. And just make sure that the copy document name title is Learning Journey. All right, so you've got this page, Learning Journey, correct. Click on make a copy. When you see this open up, all right, it means that you already have a copy of this in copy of this in your Google Drive and to find out where is the copy so that you can move it to a folder that you want or you can change it change the name or you can change it to a different uh, title of the file just open up a new Google Chrome all right and then at the top right corner you'll find these nine dots and click on it and click on drive to go into your Google Drive once you open a fresh Google Drive you will see that you have this latest update which is the new copy of your learning journey here right but you can put it anywhere if you want to move to a different file what you can do is go into this i tap on the left hand side called recent click on that you will also find it there copy of the learning journey is over here right the latest file you have downloaded okay so just to make sure you can get it into the right location we easily found in the future okay you just have to click and drag all right, so how do you where do you drag and how do you drag very simply you can see this on the left side is your my drive okay that's your drive um, for Google Drive you just have to click on this triangle at the left side at this left hand side right they'll give you all the folders of your drive okay so you just can move to any of this folder okay you can sub further create uh, um, show the other subfolder within the folder by clicking the triangle at the side again all right okay so let's say for example classroom i have so many all right so now i want to move it to 2021 okay so simply drag and drop okay so go to that file that you um, the learning journey click on it and hold it and pull it over and do you see the um, folder highlighted in blue or any color that you have designated okay and once it's highlighted in that folder just release so now it will be in your Google in the folder. So just to double check, although it's still appearing in recent, okay, click on the file, a folder 2021. I can see the file already here. Okay, now I will show you back here, right in the file, how do you use this file? Okay, first of all, change the name to the name that you want. Alright, maybe by the class or by the term or something like that, or by the topic. 
Okay, so let's say learning journey, I want it to be by topic insect. Right, next will be um, assigning this to the students, we'll show you later. Uh, but how do they use it? Okay, pretty simple, it's um, easy to understand. The first part of the lesson at the beginning of a topic, you can ask the students to fill this in. What do they already know about the topic to see their prior knowledge? Right, and at the same time, at the beginning, you can ask them to uh, type in whatever they wish to know beyond what already know. For example, for younger kids, you may want to make it interesting by asking them to click on this sticky note, alright, and then they type in their information they already know. Okay, so for a start, six legs. You can also ask them to choose their favorite color, or you can stipulate the color for certain boxes. Okay, then to make it more interesting and more appealing, alright, in terms of participation in this activity okay so uh, you can actually at the beginning also start with asking them for what do they want to find out or what do they want to learn from the lesson right but i and even if it's for uh, older kids maybe they would like to use a text box instead this is the text box icon click on the text box and they can just click somewhere inside the second box or any boxes all right and then can start typing okay go so for example they would like to find out um uh, um, what's the difference? All right. Maybe one of the very specific question they would like to ask is, I'll find out is uh, what's the difference between the ant and the spider, all right? And then after that, they can adjust it by clicking either the side to make it bigger or smaller, or the square in the center of the vertical line to make it longer. Okay, let's just place it there. They can change color as well. Okay, clicking the A side on top and then they can change to a different color okay cool so we'll leave it there until the end of the lesson you can review each student's questions of what they want to know all right or you ask them to review on their own and they can ask you the question and then eventually at the end of the lesson they will type in what they have learned okay different from the beginning that means additional to what they already know okay by clicking either one all right either the stick Post it again, the sticky note again, or the text box to add in more information. Let's say we take the post it, okay, and then change the color on top, okay, to make it more interesting. Well, once they're done, they click save again, and it will appear again. Clicking cancel will appear. They just paste it there. Cool. So from here, if you will review their work, you can see what they have learned, what they already know, and then they will add on to what they have learned and it makes it interesting to build on what they already know okay and they the better still if they were to have the learning point to answer the question that they want to find out at the beginning cool and you will realize that this could actually be a good individual work it could also be a good class work for everybody to participate in the same page that means many many students putting in the stickers on the three boxes okay for you to look through on whether you answer the questions or not whether their their, their uh, initial knowledge can actually be able to be helpful in the process of the lesson to build on what they are going to learn in the topic therefore next i'm going to show you how do you use google classroom to assign both ways either to individual students work all right individually they can actually type these three items or to a whole class so that everybody participate at the same time Okay, therefore we get into Google Classroom and in Google Classroom to assign the work first, alright, you go to Classwork, click on Classwork, you will see Create button here, click on Create button and because this is a Google Assignment, uh, Google Jamboard, it will be an assignment format, click on Assignment, alright, and then give it a title, similar to the Jamboard title, Learning Journey Insect as the topic here, alright, and then you will add the Jamboard by clicking this add button here and it is in Google Drive that you have transferred over to your particular folder click on that similarly down here also have this recent icon if immediately you have done that you can uh, you can straight away click the icon here okay, so again under recent all right you will see this file the latest file learning journey in set okay, so just click on it double click or you can click insert 
I should double click first the way. Okay, so this is the important point. If you were to let student do this individually, okay, you will need to click on this triangle and to the bottom make a copy for each student. Click on it. Then every student in your classroom will have a copy of their own. Whatever they do in their own copy will not affect other students' copies. Alright? Just that, of course, you've got to go into individual students' work in order to see their submission or their work. Alright? If not, if you want to see everybody's work or everybody's contribution in the same page as yours, what you do is click on the triangle or at the first beginning, you have view, you click on the triangle, you will have to click on can edit. That means all the students will edit on your original copy. Right, so that will be an area where you can do a class work. Everybody contributing the three categories of questions. Right, then the next thing will be to click on the other things like uh, if it's class work or uh, even individual because it is just to solicit their interest or uh, check the understanding. You may not you may not want any marks. All right, you just click the particular topics. All right, so in this case, uh, maybe it's a class work started. Cool. Once it's all ready, if, and if you may want to add other instructions, if not, just assign. Okay, so now we get into the student's copy of the classroom, and then in their classroom, they will see this item, Learning Journey in Sex. Okay, click on that, and they will see this file attached to it, and remember the last one we have um, assigned was for all students to be able to edit their classroom copy. So they will click on that, and they'll be able to put in any of the items that they want, okay, in according to the se sequence. Okay, so let's say for example, they put in the same thing. Six legs. And the six legs appear, the sticky notes appears, alright, they just click and bring it out over to the correct box. So now I'm going to show you how it works and how it shows in the classroom when you present it. Right? On the student screen, they will actually be sticking on this. This is actually done by the student. You see, once the student moves anything, it will appear in this is the teacher's version and it will be presented on the board. Right? So imagine the student were to stick it in add on a question. Okay, while the student adds on the question, right? Is spider as they were typing, you will see the icon in the teacher's version that somebody is typing something, right? And insert. Okay, once they have confirmed and click, it will appear on the teacher's version too. That's why it's editing. Everybody works on the same sheet or template. Okay, imagine all the students will be busy sticking all their learning points down here, answering their questions, and at the same time, the teacher can also stick some of the thing to answer the questions or to add on. All right. So I hope you enjoy this video and find this useful. I'm so glad we have come to the end of the video, and this is the URL for you to download your own copy of the template, learning journey template. And I look forward to seeing you again. Please remember to type subscribe and. Take care.